Come on, come on, let's go. I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. You got a plan, a reason you're working things the way you are, and I respect that. After busting my ass on the last district, I came in and took care of half of this one. I see no reason I can't handle the whole thing. Things are humming along in a holler. Of course, it's the only district I had to focus on so far. I say it's time to throw these rackets here my way. You got yourself an opportunity here. A chance to right some missteps on your part. I got no part of this district, but you can change that. And you'd be a smart motherfucker to do so. The Irish can work this district better than any other. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. Remember, you asked me to be a part of this. I get it. Can't go wrong here, brother. As long as you lean my way. <laughs> Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. Consider which way Danny would want you to go, and then come to me. Calling this one for Scaletta. How about you quit wasting my goddamn time? No one here has got more know-how than yours, truly. If you can't see that, then you can go fuck yourself. I earned this shit, Burke, so shut your fucking mouth and maybe you'll learn something. So are we done here? Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez. So he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna show you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Time to call Enzo. <sighs> All right. Tile this. <clears throat> yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. Your mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, 
and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. Why the fuck should I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So, these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear... Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. <laughs>
about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our peckers in the ground and fucking the stone out. But all we ended up with was chap nutsacks. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Ted, some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Oh, that's right. I am the cockroach. King cockroach. <laughs> Enzo, calm down, man. They can't even hear you. Fuck them in the eye! Where am I dropping? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So, yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942. No, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying. Smacks him a bit. Wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn Blue Street. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her. She was passing through on her way to Hollywood, but it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla. 
The love of his life. God damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sal. You know Sammy was proud as hell of you, right? Not just for the wartime shit, but for the way you fought through life before you came to him. How you watched over Ellis, and how you helped repair her when she was sick. He admired you, and don't you ever forget it. Fucking Sal ain't half the man Sammy was. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. Look who's decided to grace us with his presence. Turns out there's at least one sane motherfucker in Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti backed away clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. Ain't no one at this table running more action for you than me. On top of that, my guy's already got half the rackets in this area locked down. Just keep the shit coming my way, that's all I'm getting at. You the boss for a reason. You got two ways to go here. And while I would prefer you lean towards us, I not presume to know what you're thinking here. Look here, it ain't Scalera's fault, but he can't handle more than what you've given him. <laughs> Look at him, he's just a dumb fucking Dago. You're smarter than that lad, which is why I'm certain you'll pass these rackets over to me. Give me the keys to the kingdom, partner. You cooked things up this far, but you can still make it right between us. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's gotta mean something. You know I'm the only one who will really have your back. The Haitians will run this part of the city. I've had enough of this shit. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies and I'll never forgive you for it. Bert, come on now. Shit don't need to jump that far yet. There is only so much shit none an Irishman can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both barrels. I see you clearly now, Lincoln. And it's time you made this right. Come on, Irish. Relax. You've been around the block enough to know it's just business. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my fucking concerns. Way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make some fucking money. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. <sighs> Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. Right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray painted, God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. Since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to are other entitled pricks. So who are you gonna go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He 
He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. Hey, you know that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. Come on in. There's every penny. What's not to love? The bees are buzzing and the birds are chirping, Mr. Clay. And what they're telling me is that those Dixon motherfuckers are ducking down in the back of rundown shotgun shacks trying to sell off more of their guns. Where it is, Dixie's in need of money. Could have something to do with their partnership with the Southern Union. Make their stay showers, and we'll hit them where they hurt. It's good to see you again, my friend. Seeing big things out there on the streets, and it's all because of these guns right here. One of Dixie's biggest customers is our very own police department. They got a heavy-duty police truck locked down at the station, and it's loaded up with military-grade weapons. The exact kind of firepower those motherfuckers turn around and use on us. Why don't you stop by and do what comes natural? Cassandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phones. I'd be happy to take care of that for you. Hells are coming! Welcome, brother. Make yourself at home. Folks are finally feeling safe again in their own homes. The mere presence of these guns is bringing real change to the holler. Getting a piece of this city feels good. Like it's the start of something special. Something real for our people. <laughs> 